morning year fives. Um, it's our English. So, let's have a look at our do now straight away. Um, there's no point in having the pad here actually, bring that a bit closer. Yeah, I can see better now. Um, if I had the time and the technology, I'd, uh, I'd green screen myself into the corner and I'd be there, look, but, but, but I can't, so... Um, you're going to have to just stare at the screen. Homophones and spellings. There was dew on the grass this morning, but there's not this morning, it is genuinely uh, rain. But, dew and dew, you want that last one, that's that sort of, uh, it's it's the, the moisture you get in the morning uh, on the grass, when the grass feels wet, it's not necessarily because it's rained, it's just the temperature and, 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 the, and the, 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 the weather in, in the night. Um, that dew is, is in, it's time, it's dew here. Solve the anagrams. And it's the or sound. So you've got applaud. Is it applaud? Yes, it's applaud. To applaud. And you've got cause. So to cause disruption or to cause a problem. Well done if you got those. Notice I didn't have to find them today. I could work those ones out. Um, word types. So we've been looking at different nouns. Create a sentence with each type of noun. So create a sentence with each type. So a proper one. Mr. Cooper uh, is quite enjoying doing videos. Common. Um, the video, uh, I don't know, uh, the flower is yellow. Collective. Um, I've dropped my pack of cards. And then abstract. Um, I've woken up and I feel hungry. Then, can you create one with all of them in? Hmm, okay, I'm, I'm, this is going to have to be uh, off the cuff. Uh, so, I wonder if you could do them in order. That would be good as well. So, uh, Mr. Cooper has been filming... Uh, Mr. Cooper uses a pen... Oh, I've got myself stuck. Oh no. Mr. Cooper uses a pen uh, to, to, uh, oh no, <laughs> I need a bit more time with that, I thought I could do that. So have a little think, make it even tricky if you do them in order. It might not be as tricky if you don't do them in order. Um, correct the word. So, verbs here. He kept looking until there were nobody left. He kept looking until there was nobody left. Dave ain't here anymore. As much as we may say that, and I, I to be fair, I say that sometimes, that there's a difference between the spoken and the written language, remember. So the written language, Dave isn't here anymore. What was you doing? That should be, what were you doing? Okay, but good, fantastic. Um, and then today is your, as always, what is it, Wednesday for our English, so we had our waggle on our Monday. Yesterday was generating uh, vocabulary. So today, it's a chance for you to now get cracking with you with with a, like a first draft. Uh, some of you have been emailing me saying I've had, I've had a few goes. That's fine. You don't have to stick to the one idea you get. You know, I expect a first draft to be covered in scribbles and changes because your brain's a, a fluid thing. It gets it gets ideas. So think about the vocabulary and language. You've got to you've got to hook the reader even more so. You know, it's not something that's covered with tension. You know, so you've got to keep the reader hooked. And that might have to be the level of vocabulary you, you use or the, the skill of description that you have, okay? If you just say, oh, there were lots of colourful flowers and I looked out and I really wanted to go out, the reader's not going to carry on. I won't carry on reading that, okay? It needs to be interesting. Readers like interesting things. You guys do when I read class books. Every so often I'll get something really good and I'll hear a little, ooh, because it's just caught your ear. So... Have a go, but I have to say, you've got a standard to keep up now because the sword and the stone stuff, so that's hard to say, the sword in the stone stuff, work, um, was very impressive uh, for home learning writing, which, you know, there was there were some pieces that I was like, you know what, that, yes, that's exactly how you're writing at the moment. So I've put them on the blog. So have a look, that's the standard. My waggle is the standard as well, remember? And get writing. It's a drizzly day outside, so... You know, do the classic, like I said last week, do a bit of a roll doll, sit sit next to a window and just let your mind drift. Watch Tangled, get some inspiration. 
decent film. And I look forward to reading these later on in the week.